If you wanna have fun, if you wanna be free, tune in to Just TV. Ah! We are back this week, back in the flesh. Thank you for joining us. Here's another episode of Just TV with the lovely host and co-host, Michael Colucci, with the lovely host and co-host, Draghi Shalas. We don't know. Uh, I I, I think you're the host. Uh, I'm going to take the role of the co-host here. Co-host? Hey, a man is not a man without a nice lady behind him. How does the saying go? Um, <laughs> uh, there, there's always a good woman behind the... Oh, the, yeah, yeah. That's and, some, some, I don't like that. and every talk show, they got a good co-host. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, thank you for the lovely intro, man. Um, <laughs> it was the worst intro. Yeah, it was, yeah. was terrible. Yeah, I was just trying to be nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how you been, man? I haven't seen you in a while. I mean, good man. My ears are bleeding. Been mixing and mastering all these songs down, and um, out of the ten songs I've done, uh, one is ready to go. So we got one new demo. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I'm really excited about the demo. I think. Um, <laughs> Have you heard it yet? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Well, I, I, it's the same thing, but I changed the bass line. Well, the, the last the version thing. that I heard was uh, was great. I was really impressed. There's a lot of versions. A lot of versions. Uh, yeah, Mike has been spending a lot of hours um, in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you excited about this weekend? Dude, I am excited, man. I want to tell you why I'm excited, because I am a patriot. And uh, people fight for this country, and they give us holidays like this. And I just want to say Labor Day weekend. It, my, it, Labor Day is my favorite holiday. Uh, mine too, but just because um, I like to get fucked up on Labor Day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I think <laughs> that's most people. Like, they, they, like, I, don't know, I, I feel like if you ask the average American, they probably don't even know. I don't even know what it is. I'd be like, I'd be like what, 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 are, what are you celebrating here? But I mean, any excuse to get drunk. Clearly, I don't even know. I don't even like it. But we're going on a trip. That's why we're excited. That's the real reason. Uh, yeah, our our buddy, uh, like Castlevania, is uh, playing um, uh, a show. And I think this is his first show in a while. So we're going to go support him and, uh, and um, we'll... We'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll be out there, and uh, I'm excited, man. It's a great lineup. I, I really do enjoy all the artists. Fabulous, um, Mysteria, One True God, Not Your Father. Yeah, La Calcevania. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be a great show, and uh, and then uh, also the next day we're gonna see some of our favorite comedians. Uh, <laughs> Me? No. no. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're seeing some legends, man. I, I like how I called you yesterday. I was like, do it. Like, I, I want to go. I'm hoping you're down. And you said yes. And then when I said Bobby Lee, you're like, yes. Uh, yeah, fuck yeah. I want to see and, Bobby But then Lee. I said it, Jesselnick, and you're like, yes. So oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Like, I know. I, I remember I always liked him uh, in the roast. Like, that, that's where I first found out about him. And I really like his, uh, uh, you know, his type of comedy and his humor. Yeah. 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 He's a uh, top dog for me personally. Um, um, but yeah, it's your first time going to the comedy store. Yeah, it is. It is like last time I, I thought it was a comedy store, but it was a different club. What was, what was it called? Oh, Supernova. Supernova, which is also, it was a great club. We had a great time. Uh, we saw some good comedians, but, uh, yeah, comedy yeah. store. Shout out Ormash. A, Ormash. Yeah. We, um, Ormash. uh, we had some good memories <laughs> from, <laughs> yeah. And uh, some bad ones, but and now it's some bad ones. Uh, but, um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, but yeah, like, so, um, I never been to the comedy store and I, Mike has been, you know, saying that it's a legendary, uh, comedy spot in LA. So I'm excited for yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you've, you've, you've hung out with, um, well, like a Polly shorts, you know, parents started it. so that's where, that's where it goes oh, back they, from. They did. Yeah. And, uh, from the seventies, the comedy store was the, uh, home of so many talents yeah. that we all grew up with Robin Williams, Jim Carrey. Um, um, Richard Pryor. They they, they started the um, mm. nice nice. Jay Leno, like like you know, L A is like where you, people blow up. You either got to be in New York or L A if you're in the states. Oh yeah, of course. We know a lot of our listeners are in Ireland, but if you're in the states, you got to live in New York or L A to blow up. And back then, you know, you had to be in these spots. And before they got on TV and their network shows or talk shows, all these big names, they were at the Comedy Store. You know, one of my favorite comedians, uh, Chris Giraldo. Um, uh, Greg Giraldo. Greg Giraldo. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love him. And so that was a cute mistake. Yeah. Because you really do like him. Really no, I, 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 Greg Giraldo. I'm sorry. Uh, God, God rest his soul. But um, uh, yeah. Um, um, <laughs> I don't know what's going with this. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he he is good. He is good. I, I still remember some of his roast. I sure he's not a Chris. He looks like Chris. I'm just kidding. That. Well, could have been a Chris. And you know, as as I was thinking in my mind, I'm like, you know, this doesn't sound right, but I'm gonna I'm <laughs> gonna strong. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. Yeah, um, we're a few beers deep, so um, yeah. I still think the the governor is George Sislak. It is it's not. It is. That's what I think. But I, it's not. Is he Greg? <laughs> is he also Greg? <laughs> it's uh, it's Steve. Surprisingly, but I don't believe it. He I does, still don't see, believe see, it. See, that's what I mean. He does not look like a Steve. No, he looks like a George or a Greg. He looks more like a Greg than a Steve. He looks like a fucking douchebag. <laughs> And that's how we vote. <laughs> that's our stance. <laughs> yeah. But, um, um, yeah. There's so a enough lot about on. politics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the politics segment, folks. We're going to LA. We're gonna have sushi. We're gonna meet up with family. We're gonna meet up with, um, you know, some very talented music musicians, musical people, and we're going to the comedy store. And what else? And uh, we're going to work on some music. Uh, yes. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully we're going to have some studio sessions while we're in town and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. get something um, new yeah. going. Yeah. yeah. New <laughs> going. Yeah. Maybe some uh, new strange going. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm bringing sound effects into the show. <laughs> I like I like it. I like it. <laughs> Actually, just getting that yeah, terrible. Don't sorry, ever do it sorry, again. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Especially I didn't make it up. Um, <laughs> But uh, I am very excited, and um, I think it's going to be a great weekend. I just want to say it's side story. I feel bad. Uh, earlier before filming, we had a guest in the studio, and I had to kick him out. Literally, I had to drag him out. <laughs> he wouldn't leave, and someone has to wake up early, so we got to get this thing going. Yeah, some so. of us have to work in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me, I called off. <laughs> I don't have to. I'm mixing down. Yeah many songs you know what i hate i hate how we don't have a way i can sleep here and wake up and keep doing what i'm doing i gotta drive all the way home come yeah. all the way back so uh you know in the first episode of just tv we we had a petition to start raising money um for to buy the air conditioning unit because we were you know back in the day when we didn't have a lot of money and uh, we had to do it in mike's mom's basement <laughs> um and uh, there was no ac so uh now he's that, not lying he's not uh, yeah lying. so now that things are going good for us well not too good but we have this you know beautiful new spot mm. but um we need a couch so uh, if, uh we're gonna start uh, uh what do you call it donations uh, fundraiser but, uh, fundraiser yeah uh yeah so if you guys like to chip in uh, to buy us a new couch so mike can sleep here and possibly live here <laughs> and so i can keep mixing down the music man keep, yeah so so you know i, I don't want to go home because it's just a waste of time like you know the and gas and gas so he can stay here he can you know keep recording new episodes for you guys and then making new music <laughs> yeah, yeah i want to be here all the time i love you guys i love it everybody yeah, yeah. um yeah I'm, i really am here here like seven nights a week so it's kind of dumb that i have to go home and come back yeah. but what are you gonna do but uh, I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, that was some glorious times <laughs> in the basement over there. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Um, I yeah. mean, um, still hot, <laughs> still. <laughs> but um, it's uh, yeah. At least maybe that's why I'm here so often. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, you know, I kind of I, I like the. You, you know. didn't complain as much, Slavko. If you guys know Slavko, the. Um, uh, most guests we had on the show, reoccurring current guest, um, he's asking for money now, and so you probably won't see him back on here a while. <laughs> but he's um, he was complaining a lot about the AC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was. You were happy. You were like, I'm losing weight. I'm, I'm getting you know exfoliated what? skin. I'm it was actually good. you know it, you get used to it's it. A you sauna. Know, it, it was like, and every time I come, like I'm like by the end of the episode, like I am like literally covered <laughs> in, in sweat and uh, and and cum. <laughs> and, and glory. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, um, no, shout out Slavko. We're just having fun and games. Um, yeah. Really appreciate Slavko. Uh, hit us up. Uh, hit me up on Apex Mobile Terrorizer sixty nine. I will not kill you. There is no friendly fire. Actually, Slavko was one of the sponsors uh, for this LA trip. <laughs> uh, you know, so we appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> you know, I had a coworker at uh, you know the facility, and they mentioned good old Slavko. And and this goes way back, like mm -hmm. over 10 years, and they still remember mm -hmm. some of the stories I would tell. So, and you know, it's like, you don't need to know someone to be a friend of them, but I'm sure that guy and that guy would be friends in real life. <laughs> yeah. He's Lebanese. Lebanese, yeah. Slavko loves the Lebanese. Oh yeah. Have you, uh, are you into Basmati by any chance? Uh, no. Basmati? 
What is that? The restaurant? It could be. <laughs> <laughs> it's a type of rice. <laughs> popularized in Indian culture and I want to say like Southeast Asia maybe, but definitely Indian. You know, delicious. I'll tell you something about Indian food. Um, you know, first I hated Indian food, you know, and then, um, and then I tried it and I was like, oh, okay, this is not bad. You know, it's like, cause I had such a low expectations and then I had it again and I'm like, this food fucking sucks. <laughs> I'm oh, never having this fucking shit again. One high up again. Expectations. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. See how the mind can play tricks. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe you didn't have the right stuff. Did you try garlic naan? Um, n- n- I had a tikka masala. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I, don't, was, I mean, it was right. <laughs> I don't know if that's. Um, that's see, yeah, I, I don't know too much about it. See, if we're talking uh, pizzas, maybe I can properly educate this conversation. Yeah. I don't even know if that's the right way to say and, it. And uh, yeah, I want to ask the audience, do you guys put uh, oregano on your pizza? Because where I come from, uh, you can't eat a pizza without I, oregano. <laughs> Earlier tonight, you called it oregano. <laughs> oh, uh, that's how you kind of pronounce the Serbian most. Oh, not, really? No, not really. It's just, I don't think anybody pronounces it. It's a it. state. <laughs> Oregon. <laughs> oregano. <laughs> it's not fancy, like garbage. Yeah, a fancy way to say it. Though. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Oregano. Excuse uh, well, me, Papa John's, do you have oregano? <laughs> That is the that is the trick. That's how you spice it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes you seem like you know what you're talking about because if you say oregano, like nobody's gonna take you seriously. But it's like, uh, do you have an oregano? Yeah, <laughs> oregano. Do you have an oregano for my uh, slice of pizza? <laughs> <laughs> do you have uh, some napkins? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you can't go wrong with a little green stuff on red food. It really like brightens up the dish. Do you like some white stuff on your pizza? <laughs> I mean, like the. Uh, <laughs> um, um, uh, men like instead of uh, what do you call that pizza? The margarita pizza. <laughs> I'm thinking hog lovers with white stuff. <laughs> or are you thinking just like jizz in a pizza? <laughs> yeah, I did visualize it. It'd have to be really baked and like double heated, maybe in a deep dish <laughs> so you don't know what's going on. Um, oh, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. You guys, I had so many videos. I had this glorious episode planned, and it turned out it was just videos and this stupid, dumb piece of technology. What are they called? iPhones. It's not even working. Dumb. So I can't use the airdrop. Yeah. So we'll be back next week with some videos. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, I uh, had some ideas for the show uh, and Mike's like, no, like I had this whole episode planned out. I have a bunch <laughs> of videos. Like don't, you know, there's no room for, cause I was, I was actually going to bring uh, some tacos and uh, have us, eat and you know have wow. dinner on the podcast which i thought you know would be nice kind of like a taco tasting yeah. stop at three different taco places and um you know eat some tacos so what happened <laughs> you told me that uh no you had a whole episode planned out which when i came here i found out he had nothing planned Fuck man, because <sighs> of the silly airdrop i could probably send it to you and it's all good but um um yeah just some other videos but no i really did have a lot to talk about there's a lot going on in the world right now Okay. Um, as I'm thinking of this, nothing is coming to mind, <laughs> but I know there's a lot happening around the corner. We can talk about movies. Okay. Like I just saw a fucking a bunch of trailers today. There's a lot of garbage movies coming out, folks. There's yeah. nothing exciting coming out except, except, except some of the best movies ever made. You can never go wrong with anything this motherfucker puts out. Mr. Tom Cruise. Mission Impossible number 27 is coming out next year. Oh, uh, there's a new one coming yes. out? Oh, and it I, looks uh, amazing. Love, uh, yeah, I mean, all of them are just great. Like, no, yeah. like the women. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the, uh, Mission Impossible. The missions. <laughs> yeah, the missions, the, the, the women, the, the cars, the guns. The, the, the. A lot of just But you know, what it is? you know what it is? It, it's it's uh, what I love about it's Mission Impossible. It's the women. It's the women. But also, uh, there's always some crazy twist. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, no other movie has twists like that. You know what I realized after so many movies? Uh, each scene, it's literally a mission and it's impossible for him to get out of. And it's just the whole thing of that for an hour and a half. And then it's done. <laughs> Pretty much. It's literally each scene. He's trying to yeah. get out of a, the scene and trying to go it, to the it, next scene. You know what, how they have those faces and then like, you know, they take it off and like, it's like, you know, you think it's somebody, but it's somebody else. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Would you ever, you <laughs> this be? is the worst like recap of like, a <laughs> movie possible. I'm seeing it all up here. It's a beautiful movie. Yeah. Michael Clark Duncan, uh, Simon Pegg. 
And uh, yeah, so if you could take off your face and put it on somebody else's face, whose face would you put on somebody else's face and whose face would you want on your face? What? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would, um, it would be cool to be Dylan Francis for a weekend. Go to the clubs. Um, yeah. <laughs> videos don't work but um <laughs> yeah so uh, so i guess uh, you know the videos don't work um we got nothing really going on in our lives um uh yeah um well um i just want to say like um we thank you so much, <laughs> so much for uh, being here unfortunately uh, um uh sometimes things in the studio get damaged <laughs> um Jesus, that's a big cloud. Oh well. Um, I just want to say um, I'm sorry for um, for Robert in third grade back in 2004. <laughs> I gave you a dirty look and I held my nose as if he stunk, <laughs> and you looked very sad and I laughed and I'm very sorry. <laughs> That's so fucked up, dude. That is the most fucked up thing that I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> You're a terrible person. <laughs> People like you should not exist in this world. I want to. <laughs> that's a made up story. Uh, but it's not. Yeah, sure. Like, not that we, the whole world knows that you're a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the fuck. Okay, I kind of want to edit that out now. <laughs> that, that is the. Um, no, no, you have to say something. You did that. Episode one of Confessions, uh, Just TV Confessions. Harry, now you have to confess. Um, <laughs> this is still episode one. Okay. Uh, this happened um, 10 years ago. I was um, at UNLV and I, fart <laughs> <laughs> I farted in, in my class and um, I blamed it on the guy next to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can we edit this out? Dude, I, okay, so one time I, I, at I, a, I just, I, I, I could not come up with anything. One time at this, this at another uh, studio, um, um, we were all inside, a bunch of people. Then we walked out to the balcony with a few of the other people and somebody huddled around us, brought us close and said, somebody, so-and-so in there really stinks. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, yeah, he does. And you're like, oh yeah, it must be him. Yeah, yeah. But it was really me. It was, I was me. Dude, I this stunk. is actually a true story. I remember you telling us. What happened there? I got off work and- um, What happened there, buddy? I'm trying to be like, um, you know, or, or, or organico. <laughs> or, or oregano. Or oregano in my armpits. <laughs> and not use any of these products. Uh, yeah. So um, I didn't smell good, but I was healthier that night. Um, so, um, folks, if you're still tuning in, <laughs> be a good person. Yeah. Be a good, be a um, good person. I, I actually, I actually do want to write out, um, a, a lot of things about the people that I hurt, um, mm. and the things, all the bad things that I've done. And, uh, we can have an episode, uh, maybe next episode where we just give confessions and we apologize to the people. Is that step nine? Yeah. Yeah, step, is it step nine? Yeah. Step seven? Step nine? I don't know. Uh, and we apologize to all the people that we hurt uh, in this world. And, uh, you know, maybe... Um, it's time. It's holding us back. Like, I need to let go. Maybe Jesus will forgive us for our sins. Yeah. Or at least sell us some blow. <laughs> or that. All right, uh, folks. All right, guys. Well, uh, <laughs> we're going to leave you off with that. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Just TV. Uh, my name is Dragish. Uh, this is Michael. And we'll see you next week. See you next week, folks.